Today, I am going to narrate a story named The Cobra and the Crows. Near a village, there was a huge banyan tree. A pair of crows made their nest in it. The husband and wife lived there happily. And soon they had little nestlings hatching out of the eggs. But there was a great tragedy in their life. A big black cobra lived in a hollow at the bottom of the tree. He would climb up the tree and eat up all the little baby birds. When the parents returned, they were horrified to see the empty nest. Now the crows had a wise old jackal as their friend. He lived near the banyan tree. They told him about their sorrow and asked for his help. The jackal said that they could not fight against the co cobra as he was angry, strong and evil. So they must use a clever trick to get rid of this danger. He told them to go to the city and find the house of a very rich man. Then steal some jewellery from the man's house but make sure that you, that you are seen by people. Then they will chase you, instructed the jackal. Oh no, what will, what will we do then, said the crows. You must fly at the top speed back to your tree. There you must drop the jewellery into the hollow where the cobra lives. Make sure the servants see you. What is the use of that, asked the puzzled crows. The jackal chuckled. <laughs> then just sit on a branch and watch the fun, he said. The next day, both the crows flew to the city. Some women were swimming in the lake. Their costly clothes and gl glittering jewelries lay on the banks, guarded by their servants. One of the crows swooped down quickly and picked up a heavy gold necklace. The servants rushed at the crow shouting and waving his sticks. But before he could stop it, it flew towards its banyan tree. The crows fl flew steadily on, to on towards the banyan tree with the servant chasing them. At the banyan tree, they dropped the necklace into the hollow. Then they sat down on a branch and as the jackal had told them to watch what was going to happen. Then the servant reached there he saw the necklace shining and glittering in the hollow. But there was a big black cobra guarding it. There was no way to get the necklace unless he removed the cobra from the hollow. He decided to attack the cobra with a stick. He took up his stick and thrashed the cobra, killing it. Then he picked up the necklace and returned to the city. The crows flew down and thanked the wise jackal. His trick had helped them to get rid of the evil cobra.